it's Connor back from this old farm and today it's actually Sunday um, we're gonna do a farm update but this time we're not gonna do it on the phone we're gonna do it with the GoPro here and stuff um, we'll kind of give you a, a rundown of everything that's kind of happened this weekend and stuff including that got a new track put on this side of the excavator one of the issues we had with it here recently we got that going um the other thing that happened this weekend if uh those of you remember back to the last farm update video we did i think that was what two weeks ago now or so <clears throat> uh i mentioned that we the reason that the farm update got put out was because of a funeral I had to go to for my grandfather, my grandpa. And um, so now that he's passed away, unfortunately, um, he's got a lot of stuff that he accumulated over the years. And so my uncle, who has position over the estate, is trying to get rid of a lot of this stuff. And so, actually most of the stuff I think he's trying to get rid of. Um, so he asked me and my dad to go out there and you know take a peek and find things we wanted to find um originally well the first thing i had seen and that i was planning on bringing home with me this weekend was a international scout it was a 1978 model uh scout and i had really wanted to take that home but i got looking to at it it was in really tough shape and there was three other scouts on the property every single one of them you could see through holes through the floorboards so I kind of decided that you know it's not not really a project I wanted to take on of a, a car like that um, as much as I would love an international scout it just was not something I wanted to hassle with so instead being that we had the trailer behind the truck we brought home this it is a international 2404 which is the industrial version of the 404. Um, it's obviously got front end loader on it. Bucket for it is over there. Um, but we may, Rick had me brought the idea up of possibly putting a um, quick attach on the front of this. So that may be something we do, but uh, you can see she's got a bit of a lean to her. We've got a uh, pretty well destroyed tire on this side. So, if any of you have a lead on 14924 tires, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, that's what these are. are uh, the one's okay, but it's pretty well shot. And uh, obviously this one is junk. Um, but yeah, it's an International 2404 four-cylinder gasoline engine. Supposedly it runs, or it's kind of one of those ran when parked deals. Um, this wraps canopy whatever the heck you want to call it this piece of junk that's on it is gonna go bye bye because i really don't like it and we're gonna remount the fenders the way they're meant to be mounted um pto on it it's used to be like a municipality tractor kind of sort of thing or uh, um our government tractor or, you know something like along those lines and you can see these brackets that stick down underneath the belly of the tractor. It actually has a mounted sickle mower that goes with it. Uh, it's sitting at my grandpa's land there. So once the snow melts up there, we are going to go through and pick up the sickle mower that goes with this thing. There's also a New Holland, I want to say it was a 273 square baler. Uh, we're going to pick that up too and that was really all i found out there that i was kind of interested in but uh this will be another one of them project deals it'll probably come before the 400 diesel does because it's a little bit easier of a project either that or the 400 gas will come in in place i don't know um anyways so that was that burned up our saturday yesterday today what kind of burnt up today we gotta walk over to it you might notice behind me that something's missing behind us there well if we come over back to the shop by the shop we did a little playing around I guess well it's kind of not really playing around it was work but playing around 
Um, and we got the 756 going again. We had to pull the carburetor off of it. It's been giving us trouble starting and so we pulled the carb I pulled the carburetor off of it. I took the carb apart and what we determined was that the oh she's kind of it's not uh I see we're dripping fuel which is not too good. Um what we found was that the um needle was sticking in the seat and it's got one of those stupid rubber tip needles so eventually at some point in time this carburetor is going to need a carburetor kit because it could really do with it um but we got it going again and you can see it's a lot different than it once what looked it has no more um no more front end loader on it the front end loader is parked over there next to the the pig hut and the white chevy pickup truck um we decide i decided that i want for this summer mika would you be quiet for just a minute stop it so i decided that if i'm going to use it this summer i want to not have a front end loader on the front of it so we pulled the front end loader off of it left it over there that'll probably be where it sits all summer and we hooked up the manure spreader to it obviously as you can see and uh the back of the manure spreader needed a little bit of work it had well that mess on it that mess was wrapped up on the on the beaters so we we took and um cut all of that off we cut it with the torch we took the little propane handheld propane torch and cut all that string and junk all the garbage off of the beaters and uh yeah that's what we got left with so all we got to do now is you know do the do the check over there is a little bit of repair that has to be done to the floor and that might get done before manure spreading season starts we'll see there's just the one hole well, a little pull back there but just the one hole there so we'll see what happens but other than for that you just have to grease it and and check the gearbox lube and stuff like that so i do have to do some repairs on the the jack when I got a little bit too ambitious with things last winter there let me switch sides here when I got a little bit too ambitious I kind of did some damage to it um, if I flip it down here you can see the one we, we busted this ear here and there's also supposed to be a somewhere in here there's supposed to be a roll pin that goes through there that keeps the jack from moving up and down and I broke that off too on accident so we have we have a little bit of repair on that to do as well but other than for that everything's pretty much uh ready for action i guess so anywho any words from you show the mess you left in my yard what mess huh? what mess oh, i showed that yeah Should get a little hot. It's probably the fired radiator. I need to spend more money on shit anyway. Fuck it. I need a beer. Well, yeah. That was the weekend, anyways. That's what we got done and everything. A few other miscellaneous things. We got a parts washer put together in the shop. And what else? Phil that used it. We used that to clean off the carburetor on the 756 there. Um, made room for it, of course, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of a weekend kind of went by fast. Next weekend is Le Sewer. So we're going to go down there. We're going to – one of our goals is to find rims for that. So that we can get those the skid steer tires off of there. Um, well, yeah. Next week you'll have a a uh, backlog video because there's one from last weekend, and uh, I don't know whatever gets recorded next weekend and stuff. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be it, you guys.
thanks for watching and uh we'll Good take job. no we'll talk to y'all next time